What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, we got a new card in. Not really new, but new to me. This is a several year old card and I have to admit, I think I enjoy finding deals and picking up graphics cards in person more than just clicking that buy button online and getting a brand new 3060 that shows up in my door. I don't know what it is. I love these four gig cards and some of you guys are gonna instantly unsubscribe and be like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing, but I love them, what can I say? So today we got our hands on a Radeon RX 570 four gig card. And this is an XFX card. Uh, so right now I have a uh, mining rig that has three of these. I'm gonna be adding a fourth one to it from another rig and I'm gonna have four 570s. And when I came across this one, I was like, I want to get a full 570 rig. So let's go ahead first before we open this up and let's jump over to what to mine and take a look at exactly what's going on with 570s right now and what type of profitability, if any, is available out there and what we should mine with it. Okay, so we're over on what to mine. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with what to mine, it is a great site that allows you to go ahead and put in the GPU that you're currently working with, punch in some numbers and get some decent information on what you should be mining, what's the most profitable, kind of what your cost is per day to allow you to make better decisions when mining. I would recommend you guys go check it out. I'll put a link down below to it. So we're over on what to mine currently right now. And we're gonna come in here and look at a 570. So I'm just gonna create, select a stock bare bone 570 here. I'm not gonna make any adjustments. We're gonna select that right there. And we're gonna come down to our cost and I'm gonna put in my electricity cost there. Uh, and that's the uh, cost for kilowatt. And we're gonna go ahead and click calculate. So you're not gonna see Ethereum come up first here. This is a four gig card. Ethereum is not something that can be mined with because the DAG uh, file size is larger than the four gigs. So let's talk about what we have here. So right now we could make under a dollar per day mining Raven coin. You could do nice hash Kapow. You could do beam uh, Ethereum classic and Ergo. So where my eyes go and where my, where my thoughts are is I'm putting together a full 570 four gig rig in order for post uh, going to POS. You know, what happens after there? Uh, after proof of stake, we're going to see a lot of hash rate pivot to other algorithms out there. We don't know when proof of stake is right now. There's no definite date, locked in date. But when that happens, we're going to see a lot of hash rate pivot. We're going to see which I'm hoping to be the age of altcoins. A lot of these altcoins going ahead and popping off. And so my eyes recently have been gravitating towards Ethereum Classic and Ergo. Granted, right now in the current second, the profitability is low. But my eyes for my 574 gig rig are on Ergo. So I know for a fact that we can get Ergo somewhere up there at about 60 to 62 mega hash. Um, so I'm just going to hit calculate there just because some of my other ones are there. That only puts us at 79 cents a day and $23 and 75 cents a month. So you might be thinking, what are you doing here? Well, I'm looking ahead. I'm looking down the road here. I'm looking to what's next. And so if I can nab up some, some four gig cards, get a decent bag of ergo out there and i already i'm already mining ergo but i want to add to it i think we can do pretty well so that is our plan we're going to mine ergo with this xfx rx 574 gig card so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got okay here we have it so this is the xfx rx 574 gig card look how cheap these fans <laughs> look on this thing i mean hey they still spin awesome uh, not much wobble to them at all or anything. Uh, so not much to this card. It is a straight up eight pin, uh, which is kind of nice. One single eight pin there. Other than that, the card's in overall good condition. Uh, if you're looking for exact model that we're working with here, this is the RX 570 P4D version 8.0. It is the black edition RX 574 gig. Pretty sweet. So not much to it, as I said, uh, but I'm excited to really dive into it. So let's take a look on the back here. So it actually still has the original sticker on here. 
I wonder if it still has the original thermal paste, probably, and pads. Taking a look in here, I can see there's one little like light green colored pad, so possibly. So what I like to do with cards that I've purchased, uh, Facebook Marketplace is where I got this one, any used cards that I purchase out there is, we're gonna take this, we're gonna, I'm gonna blow it out, uh, I'm gonna strip it down, I'm gonna uh, clean it entirely, replace the thermal pads, replace the thermal paste, and then we'll go ahead and see what we're making stock uh, on Ergo, and then we're probably gonna follow it up by doing a, a Polaris BIOS editor on it, going ahead and uh, upping the BIOS, and then we'll kind of see where we end up with Ergo after that. So let me go ahead and get set up, and we're gonna go ahead and strip down this card. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think we gave our, our XFX RX 570 a good bath to get started. 
I mean, I think we did a pretty decent job cleaning out. It was really clean to get started with. Uh, really happy with it. There was barely any dust and dirt around the fan there. Uh, the heat sink looked good. Uh, we did replace the one thermal pad that was a uh, one millimeter there. And uh, we did put on some MX4 uh, thermal paste as well by Arctic. Uh, if you guys are interested in like, hey, I want a full length video on how to go ahead and clean the card or, or how to replace thermal paste or pads, I'll put several links down below. I have some really detailed videos. I have a 45 minute long video on just cleaning one graphics card step by step. In addition to that, if you guys are looking for some of the material that I used for cleaning the alcohol wipes, the alcohol, the thermal pads, the digital caliber that you saw, I'll put links to that all down below. I really enjoy cleaning graphics cards uh, and uh, getting them into better condition. So something like this, the cleaning job that we just did, I would love to do on every card that I get in. And I've tried to do that over the last few months just to get ahead of it instead of eh, a few months down the road. I'm like, man, that card's really running warm. I need to go ahead and do thermal paste and pads on it. This really helps to get ahead of that. So let's, let's go ahead and show you guys where we're going to install this. So in our mining room here, as I said, basement's still under construction, still a lot going on. Let's look in here. So in here right now, you can see this is our Scarlet Witch mining rig. Uh, it's named Scarlet Witch just because of how much trouble it was to get up and running. We currently have an MSI motherboard. It has a total of seven slots on it and we're running a 1200 watt power supply as well as a 500 watt ATX power supply. We have a, uh, this is actually a 1066 gig on the end. I'm gonna be moving that to another rig here soon, but we do have one, two, three MSI 574 gigs that are mining Ergo, our 1060s mining ETH, and these two R9 380s are mining Ethereum Classic. My goal is I want to fill this rig with 574 gigs mining Ergo. Right now we have three. I have another 570 in our Octo Miner case down here. I'm going to move up. So that's going to take the place here and before. And then today's is going to sit right here. So I'm still in the hunt for two more. So let me go ahead and power down our Scarlet Witch rig. We can see right here, here is that rig. You can see some of our other 570s. We're doing 61.86, 61.82, 61.92 on Ergo. So let's go up here, power this down, and let's go ahead and install our XFX 570. Okay, so we have our card installed. Let's go ahead and take a look here. And here she is. This is the XFX that we just installed. Just getting a little better view here. So our R9s, 570, 570, 570, 570, and that 1060. So yeah, it fits in there perfectly. That'll go ahead and set us up. So I am looking for two more 570s to go ahead and finish this rig. As I said, I do have one there. And I'd love to go ahead and have a seven GPU Ergo rig. So now let's go ahead and jump over to Hive OS. Take a look here. So in Hive OS, let's go ahead and refresh our page as we just got this miner up and running. Okay, so here is our XFX and it's actually El Padilla, which is nice because my other ones are Hynix, 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 Hynix. And I just, I hate Hynix, but sometimes you get deal what you gotta deal. It's that uh, silicon lottery. So on stock, we have no overclock settings in here right now, just 100% fans. It is at 54.65 versus what we're seeing with a BIOS modded 570 and some overclock settings. These I don't think will work for our Alpadia. But what my next step is to do is I'm gonna go ahead and BIOS mod this using the Polaris BIOS editor, uh, which is right here. If you guys want a full guide on this, I have one. I have a full guide on this for Polaris cards. I'll put a link down below to this video. It goes step by step on how to easily, they call it one click Polaris BIOS editor. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Get some overclock settings in and let's see what type of hash rate we're getting. Okay, so we have the card BIOS edited now and stock, granted we don't want to run it entirely on stock, but stock we're already up 10 mega hash. We were at 54, we're now at 64. 
An Al Padilla and Samsung is definitely the memory type that you want uh, for the 570s. So I went over, there is an Ergo Miners Hash Rate and GPU Settings um, spreadsheet. I'll put a link down below to it. And you can find like every card under the sun for Ergo on here. That This is community driven. And I found one here to start us out as a base point. So it's a 570 on El Padilla. It's reporting that it can get 68.45 a mega hash on Ergo. So let me go ahead and do some overclock testing here and we'll see how we make out. We have success. Check this out. 570 El Padilla, 69.30 mega hash. Where currently it says in the system 73 watts. I'm gonna throw like, I don't know, 15 watts higher than that because Hive OS is never right. So we'll say low 90s maybe. We're at 1290 for our core, 950 for our VDD, 1950 for our memory. And then we do have, we do have to go ahead in here and add our AMD tweak. So we'll come in here. We have our, our DPM on. We're gonna add our memory config tweak, and this is El Padilla. So we're gonna go ahead and select 20, and then we're gonna hit save. Man, XFX RX 570 doing work. Almost 70 mega hash right now on Ergo. Look how far we've come with one overclock settings and two a BIOS edit from 54 mega hash up to 69. Point two nine. Well guys, that is gonna do it for me for today. I appreciate you guys joining me for another video on the XFX RX 570 four gig card. I had a blast doing this video. If you guys are running any 570s, what are you mining with your 570s? What's your daily profitability looking like? And what's your long-term plans with 570s? They're four gig cards. They're definitely aging quickly. I know with my RX 470s that I have, I'm mining Ravencoin on those. We got 570s, we're gonna be mining Ergo on these. Let me know your thoughts. Where are you at with your 570s? Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it an old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.